Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. Yesterday, we had the start of the first day of the pre-season promotion with new SBCs, objectives, cards in packs, and a lot of promised content for the next 43 days is how long this promo is probably going to run based on the infographic down here at the bottom that these cards are in packs for 43 days. So we'll talk about that. The rewards that are coming today, the reward changes that are coming for next week. This week's, this week's rewards are going to be the exact same that they have been for the past couple of weeks. But weekend league rewards in the next few weeks are going to be changing according uh, to what I read on EA's website and what I'm seeing in the game. So the first thing I'm going to talk about today is, again, the rewards. But also, uh, I want to cover um, what we will be seeing next week in rewards so i want to make sure that i covered that uh because yes like again we can see in here if we look at the details on next week's rewards uh they are going to be team of the season players so it's tots cards in rewards the summer heat rewards are ending this week this is the last week for those and then i do think uh that next week those will be changed to team of the season rewards so let's talk about that a little bit today what is the market going to do we'll talk about this uh, the new content that came after we talk about what's happening today. Because I know you guys are looking forward. You're looking ahead. What's going to happen today on the market during weekend league rewards? As of right now, we have a set, a select set of 51 cards that are in packs. And I'll show you guys that list right over here uh, on uh, the interwebs, the uh, Google document that EA Sports gave us. You can see some of this. It's honestly, it's kind of an elf. Only 51 special cards are in packs right now. It's basically team of the years, uh, some team of the seasons, a couple foot birthday cards, one future stars, and one shapeshifter. It's really a paltry list of cards that are in packs right now. This is this is honestly an L because there's not the low tier cards that you can just like craft for upgrades and really craft SBCs. It's if you pack one of these special cards, you're basically hitting a pretty big. You're hitting a big boy. Is what this is and what this means. So I hope that they add cards to this list, uh, but it doesn't look like that they're going to. This is the preseason best of. Now, these cards today during rewards are probably going to get supplied a little bit, but not much. Because again, think about how rare and how hard it is to pack most of these cards. Now, you have some guys like Lautaro Martinez, right? His gold card has a bit of a higher drop rate than some of these other cards like Hyun Min Sun or like Ramos or Aguero. And, you know, you might have somebody like Zaha. He might get packed a decent amount today. Uh, you're going to see some supply on the market for those cards that are in packs. Uh, you know, like maybe a foot birthday bail. Uh, like this card has dropped a lot. He is in uh, packs right now. One of the only foot birthday items in the game that is released back into packs. So you probably will see a bit of supply on some of these today. But other than that, I would expect almost, or not almost, most of these cards that are in packs, these team of the years, these team of the seasons, some of them have bounced back already. I would honestly... Expect a lot of them to be supplied a little bit of rewards today, um, you know, because they're going to be in the tradable packs for the 90 plus packs uh, for um, the elite rewards and up. But I would expect a lot of these cards to rebound later in the day on Thursday. Uh, so if you're looking to buy a squad for the weekend, you might want to get in on that. Uh, if you don't think any big time content is coming, you might want to get in on those buys in the first couple hours of rewards because these cards are going to be supplied still through the top 100 and uh, through the Elite Reward Pack. So we'll talk about that uh, in this video. Again, rewards, all the new stuff that came out for the preseason promo, there's a ton to freaking talk about today. But I want to focus on rewards again first. Other things that are going to happen re with rewards today, SBC Fodder is going to get supplied, and the gold cards are going to get supplied because a lot of these guys are not out of packs like we were probably expecting them to be, right? Some of these guys have team of the seasons that are not in packs. Hideki, right? Uh, Oscar, if they were going to throw in like some of the stuff from batch three, Oscar was in packs. He's no longer in packs. Or he is in packs. His team of the season is not. That's what I meant to say. Um, who else? Ilicic had a team of the season card. Tadic had a team of the season card. Depay. Uh, a lot of these low... Havertz. Uh, Summer. Like a lot, a lot of these guys had team of the season cards that are in... Uh, that are no longer in packs. The gold items are in packs. So I expect uh, fodder across the board tomorrow to take a hit in price. I think 83s moved up a little bit today. 82s moved up a little bit because of Valverde being an 83 rated squad. A lot of people went out and did that. Uh, but I would expect all of the SBC fodder to get hit, especially the stuff that is now in packs, right? If you're seeing cards that are some of the cheapest by rating, 
uh, that are um, out of packs, like a Mooney Iron Foot Birthday, Dembele Team of the Season, Ederson Team of the Year nominee. Some of those cards, maybe keep your eye on a little bit because as long as the fodder, as long as the demand stays high for that Prime Icon or Moments uh, repeatable upgrade SBC, which I think that demand is going to stay high, uh, you're going to see this fodder stay high a little bit too. So if this fodder drops too low today, that is definitely something that I would be interested in. Conte is an 89 rated gold card. I'm wondering if people bought this card because they thought he was going out of packs. And then, yeah, this is what happened today, man. People bought this card because of the loading screens. They bought him up to 40,000 coins. He went down today. This card's out of packs right now. This card is in packs. This card is out of packs. Uh, this is not, honestly, too bad of an investment in my opinion. I mean, you, you see lower th uh, 30K for this guy. The lower 35s, maybe like 32, 33. Uh, maybe, wow, uh, low 30s on the Xbox as well. That's kind of what I would do uh, with with that kind of card. And, you know, there's not a lot of options like that. But um, I do expect SBC fodder to get hit today. A lot of gold cards are probably going to be dropping, especially 82s, 83s, 84s on the market as uh, we get that supply from the weekend league rewards situation. So that's kind of what I expect today, right? I do expect the market to rebound a little bit as well. Some cards have already started to rebound that got panic sold earlier. Uh, what is Mbappe at, right? Mbappe is 2.5 right now. 2.5, 9.26. So he's about to the same price. He's probably been all over the place today. What about the team of the year, Mbappe? What is this guy at? He is in packs right now, and he's about the same price as well. 2.5, interesting. Conte uh, is about 1. Wow, Conte is like 1.7. One, one okay, still 1.7. So he's still down. Uh, but this is, he did rebound a little bit from where he was, but that's kind of what I expected from yesterday as well. I kind of said, remember, if you watched the video from yesterday, I had kind of like two different scenarios of what would happen. If the content was good, stuff would drop and then rebound. If the content was bad, stuff would rebound right away. I did see some rebound on some items and I saw some drop and some rebound on other items as well. I was a hawk today on the transfer market in terms of icons and some other special cards. I bought some Akin Fenewas today. Because this guy was extinct almost all week. He's out of packs now, I do believe. And I think this guy is going to go extinct again after rewards. Um, just as a hero card. One of the most rare hero cards in this game. And not a, not a lot of packs were open while this guy was out. Same with Harry Kane. He is basically extinct already at 100,000 coins. Price max. Uh, I'm kind of watching this card. I've got one of them in my club. So, you know, I did buy some cards today. I did do a bit of flipping because there was some market movements that I got very, very interested in today. Uh, and I do think you're going to see some stuff start to move up at Weekend League Rewards. Some moments, icons, um, some, some of these new uh, Road to the Final items with boosted stats that don't have any other special cards might catch the eye of some people. So you might see some rises on those cards today. And I do think you will see people go out and buying some cards for their team. So I do think you will see a rise in the market today with Weekend League Rewards. You know, maybe the Team of the Season cards that are going to be in the Weekend League Rewards, again... Uh, per EA's per, EA, per EA's webpage over here, I do think that you might see a little bit extra uh, desire for some people to play Weekend League this weekend since it's just Team of the Season cards in rewards. And again, just to go over that, Gold 2 Plus, you get a minimum of one TOTS item from a top five league will be in any player pick earned. So one of your items in your player picks for Gold 2 Plus will be a top five league card. Uh, and then, of course, the three player packs will be containing... Three TOTS SF players for the Elite Packs, that is. Three TOTS SF players from a Top 5 League. And then the 11-player packs, Top 100, will be from Top 5 Leagues as well. And then basically anything that is below Gold 2, you're not guaranteed any item from a Top 5 League. Uh, and then if you get Silver 2 or 3, you're capped at an 88 rated for a TOTS card. So those are the new rewards that we will see for the rest of the year. It's going to be all Team of the Seasons in rewards. No more for birthdays, no more shapeshifters, headliners, any of that. It's all team of the seasons from here on out, which, you know, I'm, I'm a fan of. I mean, the rewards already were mostly team of the season, but I'm still a fan of that. So let's transition from talking about rewards into talking about what happened today on FIFA. Now, overall, am I happy with we, what we've seen so far? I'm happy with some things. Some things are very promising. Other things I'm not super happy about. This is one thing that I'm not super happy about right now. The idea, the concept is dope, all right? But we're, I feel like we're really getting skimped out here by EA. Play FIFA 20 to get distinct rewards in 20 and 21. So if you go to the objective that came out today, right? 
they gave everybody a five set of five, four or five team of the year cards to complete this uh, preseason objective right here. Basically, they had to score three matches, play three matches, score two goals with team of the year players and an assist with a team of the year player to get these two player packs. And then what this is going to get you in FIFA 21 is a five game, 500 coin boost reward uh, per game. So basically 2,500 coins at the start of FIFA 21, 2,500 coins is nice, right? Like that's a really small amount. I know it seems very trivial right now, but that helps a lot in the early stages of FIFA 21. So that is cool. Um, but that's also kind of irrelevant. And when you, it's irrelevant to a certain degree, right? It's irrelevant to a certain degree because you also uh, think about this. FIFA 21 rewards earned during preseason will be granted by October 16th. The game comes out on October 9th. So if they're not gifting these, I know it says will be granted by, so it could come out before then. But if they don't come out like right away at the start of the game, if your preseason rewards are delayed in any way, shape, or form, then the issue with that is going to be if you're a week, like the, the game comes up out October 9th, if it's October 14th or 15th and you're getting 2,500 coins for the, the coin boost, you really don't care. You need those 2,500 coins pronto. Those need to be on your account right away when you load up. The first time you get into FIFA 21, that's when you want those coin boosts because that's when it's going to matter. So that's the part that I don't like about the coin boost. Uh, and then the other things that they have in here. Over the first two and a half weeks of preseason, you'll have the opportunity to earn rewards that will help you get started towards managing your club through objectives and SBCs, a home icon kit, kit, and then two chemistry styles. Yeah, uh, they're giving us chemistry styles to start off the year in FIFA 21, which then we're going to put those chemistry styles on cards that we're going to use for like a week or two weeks as we get more coins and upgrade our teams. Yeah, if those, S if those SBCs or objectives take me any more than an hour or like even... I wouldn't even spend an hour doing objective to get an anchor chemistry style. No thanks. Like an hour of my life is not worth an anchor chemistry style. Sorry, EA Sports, okay? An engine chemistry style is not worth even a half an hour of my life, okay? If this it doesn't mean like me just scoring one goal in a game, then I would do it. But only if I'm getting other objectives done at the same time. I think this part of it is an L. Now, there's a bit of a consolation with this, right? Over the first two and a half weeks of preseason, you'll have an opportunity to earn these rewards, right? These are the rewards for the first two and a half weeks. Above, it says throughout preseason, players will have the opportunity to unlock rewards in FIFA 21, including packs, consumables, player loan items, and in-game vanity items. So, big, big boom right here. There are going to be packs that probably later in the preseason promo that they're going to be allowing us to redeem for the start of FIFA 21. Now, I guarantee you two things, right? I guarantee you two things. These packs are going to be, number one, untradeable, which is fine. I don't care. It's going to be cards and, and coins. Not coins. It's going to be cards and consumables in the club to start the game. Thing number two is, I guarantee you, if it's any, it's not going to be anything more than a 15K pack. The 15K pack would be the max, the highest quantity, quality of a pack that I would think EA would give you for doing objective in FIFA 20 to get into FIFA 21. Because let me remind you, 50k packs in FIFA don't even get released until Black Friday. The first time we saw 50k packs last year, maybe there was an SBC that gave one out actually. Um, but usually like 50k lightning rounds and 100k lightning rounds during Black Friday are the first times in FIFA that we see 50k and 100,000 coin packs in most years. That might have changed last year. I have to go back and do some research. But uh, yeah. This is very promising, and I like the idea behind it, but the execution, at least for this first set of stuff that we're getting, seems to be a bit poor, all right? That's all I'm going to say about that. Best of pack content, I mean, we already mentioned this. The list is very thin. It's paltry. I'm not a huge fan of it. If we're going to put out upgrade SBCs, I don't even know if I'm going to do that many because the chance of me packing one of these cards is slim to none. It really is slim to none. Uh, it's not going to be as fun as during Summer Heat when you had lots and lots of special cards in packs uh, because there's not going to be that much stuff to pack. It's really just going to look like you're opening packs during the normal course of the year and there's like two promo teams in packs. That's the equivalent of what is going on right now. Like Team of the Year and Team of the Season plus a couple extras are in packs. It's like a normal promo team. Not a lot of stuff that you're actually going to be able to pack. Now, some of the W's that I like about this promo is the stuff relating to Champions League and Europa League. So, what they did today was they, they gave plus three ratings overall boosts 
to Champions League Road to the Finals and Europa League Road to the Finals that are in the competition still in FIFA 20. So 91 Conte today. Uh, where's this card at? 91 Conte went to a 94. And this guy was on a crazy wild ride today in terms of price as well. Went from 100,000 coins this morning up to three. I, I have one on my transfer list that sold at 400,000 coins. Transfer targets, I mean. 400,000 coins is where this guy was today for a bit on the uh, the PlayStation. Back down to 228. I ended up picking myself up two at 230,000 coins. And he's rebounded back to 270 right now. Let me tell you, right? These cards are still making movements like this. This is a movement that we watch for all the time in uh, earlier stages of FIFA, right? When a once to watch card has a really good game, they shoot up, they come back down, and then they go back up again. That's exactly what happened here. So I don't know if you're interested in trading in July or August, whatever month we are in now, but this is a move that I capitalized on today because I knew once I saw Conte go from 100K to 400K and then back down to 220, I knew he was gonna go back up. So I stagged myself a couple of those. GG's. Uh, I think there's a couple other cards that had similar movements as well. Gareth Bale was like 300,000 coins, went up to 500k, and is now back down to 350. The weird thing about this card is it has worse stats, minus two physical and minus one dribbling on this foot birthday card. The foot birthday also has the upgraded weak foot, uh, and um, this card is 200k. So this card is in packs. So that makes this road to the final Bale very interesting. Now, all of these Road to the Final cards are still live. It also says these items will still be available for further upgrades should their team continue progressing in the respective competition uh, through the much-anticipated August 21st and 23rd Finals. So they're still going to get upgraded. That is a GG. Thank you, EA Sports. And I talked about this in my video yesterday as well. They actually boosted the players higher to make them like relevant for this time in the game. I love that. Thank you, EA, for that. Uh, there's going to be new Road to the Final players, which is what we saw today with the Valverde SBC. I'll show you guys that in a second. Uh, so it's going to be Europa League and Champions League SBCs that will be released for that. And then Champions League Showdowns. This is one that's a big time W in my opinion. It's basically going to be Summer Showdown, but it's going to be Champions League. And uh, whichever Champions League uh, item from the team that advances from the matchup that they give us the... Uh, uh, the showdown for is going to get a plus three overall stats boost. So we have some of like the, the the second legs of some of the games that were played back in like what early March or late February coming up. Uh, and the winner of the, if one of the if one of those winners gets a summer showdown game or if one of those games gets a summer showdown showcase SBC, uh, the winner of that will get a plus three overall stats boost. So that could be massive. Probably more SBCs and objectives coming on those. Halftime SBCs coming during the Champions League and Europa League matches. Uh, that happened last year. That's not new, but GG's. Thank you, EA. And then top transfers. I'm going to just spend a tiny bit of time talking about this. Um, this is dope. I'm a big fan of this. Uh, they'll be showcasing a selection of most exciting moves over the summer with special player items in Foot 20 released for those players after they land at their new club. So again, this is the potential that we have for a Timo Werner special card or a Ziyech special card, like a Timo Werner on Chelsea, they could give him, if they're going to add a new card design, they could give a, uh, like a preseason card design. If they add that to the code, a preseason transfer version of uh, Werner and give him like his team of the season stats, but a Chelsea card, that'd be sick. That is something that we could also see upcoming in this week. So again, uh, one last thing I want to point out. There's a ton of stuff that went on today, boys. A ton, a ton, a ton of stuff. Uh, the market went crazy today. The market went all over the place. I was tweeting about this card in general today, and this is like the last thing I want to talk about uh, today. Kevin De Bruyne's team of the year, right? EA tweeted out team of the week today, and they showed team of the year Trent Alexander-Arnold and team of the year De Bruyne as a part of the team of the week. This card started crashing, going down, going down, going down. EA then said, hey, we messed up. We meant to have his highest rated version card of the game, this card. So what happened with this is I quote tweeted that tweet from EA saying, hey, we messed up. Apologies for the confusion. And this card was at 800K at that time on the PlayStation. I said, hey, watch the panic selling. It's about to it's about to change from panic selling on the team of the year back over to the team of the season. And that exactly is what happened. This guy was 800,000 coins. He went back up to a million coins after people realized he was not in packs. This Kevin De Bruyne team of the season card was 1.9 million coins and started dropping all the way down to 1.7. Uh, 
He dropped, you know, it's not a huge drop, but it's like a 200,000 coin drop. And then bang, he's back up to almost 2 million coins now uh, after all that. So it was crazy to see the amount of panic that happened today um, just based off of a couple of cards that EA messed up on uh, today with their tweets and stuff like that. So again, today's rewards, I do expect the market to rise a little bit. Take a look at your icons. Take a look at some of your TOTS cards. You might see some rises on those. Uh, some of these road to the finals are very interesting because they're very, very rare. They're going to fluctuate and they're going to have some more demand. So I'm carefully watching some of these road to the final cards. They're not in packs, um, but they are fluctuating a lot in price. Again, like this Conte was 230,000 coins and I got two of them. I can show you my transfer list. I got two of them earlier today uh, at that low price. This one I bought at 225K. The other one that I have, I think, listed right now, I got at 222,000 coins. So uh, that was a big dub. If you picked up on some of those market movements, I do expect some of these cards with bigger boosts to go up even, even more, especially since they're live items and there's more hype that has been drawn to them now. Um, so that's huge, right? So this FIFA 20 preseason promo, overall, so far, it's looking okay. I haven't looked at Valverde yet. Sorry, boys, this video is going very long, but there's just so much to look at today. Uh, I'm trying to go fast, all right? But Valverde, three-star, three-star. I wish they would have upgraded maybe the skills of the weak foot, uh, but this is a nice Real Madrid center midfielder. A lot of people wanted this guy to get a future star. He didn't, but now he has a live item card, uh, six-foot medium, medium, with some pretty juiced-out stats. And if Real Madrid do continue winning, like this card has the potential to continue to upgrade and get a lot better. Could go to 94 rated, 95, depending on how far Real Madrid go in this competition. This could end up being a 97 rated card when it's all said and done, I do believe. Uh, and that would be one of the cards with like the highest stats ever in FIFA Ultimate Team, the most in-game stats. If he got a plus four, because that, he would be club 90 for sure. And that would be an insane, insane card. So I would recommend doing this SBC. Uh, it's an 83 rated squad, I believe, with a 60 chemistry. So it's not that terrible to do. If you guys have rewards today, thumbs up. Good luck. I don't know what kind of content we would get today. There is a, uh, There was a guaranteed TOTS SF player rated 90 overall or higher that is in the code. If that SBC would come out, you probably would see... Um, the rise on some SBC fodder as well. So maybe today at rewards, if you see stuff get kind of cheap, you see some stuff drop down a decent percentage, uh, especially in like the 87, 88 rated kind of central range, maybe 86s as well. Maybe you start to kind of look at some of those and say, hey, that might be a buy for me. These cards have dropped a decent amount. There's still a lot of supply or there's still a lot of demand for that Icon Moments SBC. And there's going to be even more demand because of that SBC whenever that does come out. So again, Super long video today. I appreciate you hanging in there with me. There's just a lot to cover and I wanted to give you my thoughts on all of it. Give me your thoughts down below in the comments. I would appreciate those. I'd also appreciate a like on the channel and a subscription if you enjoyed it. It's been Nate, the Foot Accountant. I will catch you guys later. Peace out.